This episode of Leap TV is made possible by Velvet Pumpkin Productions, your number one choice for all your online video and podcasting needs. Coming up on Leap TV, a branding lesson from TELUS Mobility, employee salary versus revenue ratio, and this week's performance tip, the power of performance targets. I'm Isabel Mercier, and this is the show that shows you that small, intentional, and consistent actions lead to massive results. Everyone's had a frustrating experience in dealing with TELUS, with any phone company for that matter. We've come to expect it. Well, TELUS recently hired a new VP, a very intelligent woman, that has implemented a new loyalty program for their employees to give them the power to raise the bar and do better. So say you're a TELUS employee and you're at a party. Of course, you would have for sure an experience where you would hear someone bitch about TELUS. Well, now, instead of not being able to do anything and say, sorry, I know, it sucks, that employee now has the power to go back to the office, log in this bad experience, and actually expedite the process through this loyalty program. Is this loyalty program a myth? I assure you, it is not. One of our employees had a bad TELUS experience, and her friend, which works at TELUS, was able to resolve the issue within 48 hours. What's the lesson here? Again, very simple. Give your employees the permission and the simple tools to provide an outstanding customer experience. People don't expect to have no glitches in a buying process. We know there are going to be glitches. What we do expect, though, is good customer service and good support when those glitches happen. Tell us found a new way to really raise the bar to somehow help their customers from possibly jumping ship. Now this one goes into my book as a brand hero. Now Leapers, it's time to get involved. I am looking for some of your greatest brand hero stories. Who has delighted you lately? Simply add your comment below the video at leaptv.com. And did you know that adding comments actually drives more traffic to your website? So take advantage of it. Now, before we move on with the show, I want to take a moment to share a little more about our sponsor, Velvet Pumpkin Productions. Danielle, the chick behind the camera, she's truly the best at helping companies like yours increase their online exposure. So head on over to velvetpumpkin.com for more information and special offers. This week's question is from Vivian Hessman from Coquitlam, BC. Vivian writes, Hi Isabel, I own a small design studio and I'm in the process of hiring my first in-house designer. Although I am excited, I'm also worried about increasing my monthly expenses. Am I making the right move by hiring? What should I expect as a return on my investment? I feel totally out of my comfort zone. Help! Vivian, first, I want to congratulate you on your growth and also on your willingness to step out of your comfort zone because growing a company requires taking calculated risks and hiring is one of them. Now, I don't know a lot about your company size or your monthly burn rate or the experience of your employee for that matter, but here is what I know has worked for me in the past. First, you got to do your homework. You got to make sure that she is the right fit for your culture and also for your needs. Then establish a three month trial. You're not married to this. You need to test the waters to really determine her skill level. And finally, to answer your return on investment question, I like to expect at least three times return from the salary as a rule of thumb. Now here's an example. If you pay an employee $35,000 a year, I expect a return of $105,000 that she will be able to participate in bringing or producing. Now, if this particular employee is an admin position, which is non-billable, the ratio still applies. It just allows you more time to bring that same amount. And Vivian, remember, this isn't a marriage. Nothing is permanent, whether you're a rookie or not. So go for it. In return for asking a question, Vivian wins a two-month free subscription to MyLeadTools.com, a vital resource of constantly growing collection of tips, 
tools, and winning strategies to help you perform like never before. This week's performance tip, the power of performance targets. At Scenario Design, our previous business, we implemented team billable performance targets for a few reasons. The first reason is we did this to increase our overall productivity level. Second reason is we wanted to keep track of everyone's productivity level and performance level in the billable hour realm. And finally, we've implemented this to simply help me sleep at night because I knew that if everyone on my team were remotely close to their targets, I knew I didn't have to worry so much. So go ahead, give it a try by having all of your team members more aligned and aware of their productivity level and billable time, you're on your way to building a kick-ass, well-oiled, well-performing machine. If you want to know more about this, Look below the video at leaptv.com for a great article entitled Six Pivotal Shifts to Becoming Instantly More Billable. If you've liked this week's tip, chances are you would love myleaptools.com. So check it out and see for yourself. That's it for this week's show. And remember that everything you've learned here today will do absolutely zip for you. Unless, of course, you implement it. So take action of what you've learned today. And remember that it's much easier to do it than to dwell on it. If you want my help with a personalized one-on-one -on -one consultation to help your business grow faster, just click on the link below entitled Isabel On Demand at LeapTV.com. Also, don't forget to comment about this week's show. We want to know your thoughts. I'm Isabel Mercier, and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Join me again next week for another episode filled with great branding lessons and strategies to help you perform like never before. See you next week. Hello! Alright! Okay! Rock and roll! Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, leapers, it's time to get involved. Whoa! I mean, that's like. <laughs> <laughs> like, it actually, like, ding in my ears. Okay. I want to do this one from the top, baby. I think so.